All right, I just finished a quick session of buying some Astro Runes. I'm up to 5,000. That definitely should be more than enough because it's time, guys. I'm going to be going for the Ranger Boots. I've only done 14 medium clues on this account, so I'm basically starting from scratch. This is going to be a journey. And of course, the best way to get medium clues on an Iron Man is from Eclectic Implings, and that is where the Astro Runes come in. I need to get the Impling Jars. There's a quick way of getting them from the Hunter Kit spell right here, if I cast it. Uh, it gives me a Hunter Kit, which I open up for a bunch of Hunter tools, including an Impling Jar. So, basically, one cast of this is one jar. You can also get these in Piro Piro by just catching random Implings and then turning them in. But I'd rather not do that, and this is, you know, decent Mage XP. Yeah, 70 XP per cast. Kind of expensive, though. Two Astrals per, so uh, I'm going to be going for 2,000 Jars. Which should net me about 140,000 mage XP, can't argue with that, and I'm very close to a level. One annoying thing about this method though is that you can't just like repeatedly cast it. You can only carry one hunter kit at a time, so every time I do uh, a spell I have to bank the kit. Makes it a little tedious, but I mean 2,000 really shouldn't take that long. Let's just get through it. Boom. 81 magic. Whew. The last one. 2,000 banked. Just gotta open these bad boys up. Welcome to the Fields of Sadness, otherwise known as Piro Piro, where I get to experience misery, pain, and suffering. Yeah, this is the method of collecting the Eclectic Implings. I'm just here at one of the spawn points, and I basically can just spam click this, uh, like under my care. Okay, well, you know, as you see, sometimes it can spawn uh, on an adjacent square, and then it just goes to fucking Narnia, you know, just like that. Oh, he's coming back? No! Turn back, bro. Yes. No. Oh my God. You hate to see it, dude. This is what I. This is what I mean about misery. I brought some snares along so I can just, you know, stick it there and then pass through the wheat and grab it. But now there's a chance of it leaving the spawn point once again, so I gotta snare that and then go back through. It's a big fat waste of nature runes, I will say, but it gets the job done. And that's the trip done. Nice. So um, the way I bank is I just teleport to the farmer guild. And I bank there, and then I just run over to the fairy ring, over kind of by like Konar to the northeast, and then right back into Piro Piro. Anyway, as far as how many implings you can get per hour, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't really been testing, but I do remember on my old iron, I swear it was like 350 eclectics an hour if you're paying attention. And I may as well put it into perspective how little that really is. So getting a medium clue from an eclectic impling is 1 in 25. And the chance of Ranger Boots from Mediums is 1 in 283. Put those together, and that means it's roughly 7,000 Implings you gotta catch just to get on rate. And that's just obtaining the clues. Obviously, you gotta go and do them. So, this is an awfully long grind. However, I really enjoyed it last time I did it. So, I'm kind of excited to see if we can get the Rangers early on here. If I can give you one tip for collecting these Implings, it's using the Rune Light Shift options. Uh, it's a pretty recent thing on Runelight where you can basically change right-click options on almost anything, including NPCs like Implings. So you can see that my left-click on these Implings are walk here, and that's because you can shift-click them and swap the left-click to walk here rather than catch. So basically, you know, when I do have the spawn here, I can just spam here, and even if an Impling flies through, it's not going to catch it. It's going to catch the Eclectic. It makes it so much better. Um, and there's just so many applications to the uh, rune light shift click options. If you aren't using this, start using it. You can use it for almost anything. Yoink. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to send some medium clues. I was originally going to go for all 2,000 jars, but nah, I'm antsy. I want to do some clues. And during this grind, I am going to be catching the magpies, the ninjas, and the dragons whenever I see them, so... I already have a decent stack. I did already get a dragon, which is pretty sick. I wonder how many we're going to get by the end. I'll probably be opening these ones once we get the rangers or whenever I finish my goal. Of course, this is RNG. I'm not guaranteed these ranger boots. So I'm going to be putting a stop to this grind at 300 medium clues. That is a very good attempt. 300 medium clues or ranger boots, whichever happens first. First casket of the grind. Yep. <laughs> I just had the step where you don't need boots for the emote. That means we're going to get the green ones. Nope. Okay. We're going to get the boater instead. Wow. Double unique. Love to see that. Boo! 
All right, Strength MET and my first Master Clue. I'm pretty sure I still don't have a Master Clue completion on this account. I wonder if we're going to be able to finish one during this grind. I doubt it, but, you know, we'll, we'll try our best. The item that I need is a, I think that's, um, Tazar Mall, right? That kind of hurt. I just sold, like, what was that, 9,000 Chaos Runes? And we're going to buy the mall. Let me put on my gloves first. You get a discount. And right there. 65k. Yeah, that kind of hurts. That, you know, that's just part of the onyx. Gone. I did all that for nothing. Deep wilderness. I'm not doing that. I wonder if we'll ever be able to finish a master. All right. I've been filling the stash units as I go. This has to be the last one, right? <laughs> this has to be. Oh, wow. I, I could not be any more wrong. There is so much I haven't filled. Bruh. <laughs> Another master. Maybe this one will be better. Maybe. <laughs> Literally the first step. I ate. I, there is so. Probably one of the worst steps I can get right now. <laughs> I was busy last night and I got a treat for you. 25 medium caskets stacked up. So we can open them all in one go and get incredibly disappointed and log up. got a lot of new items and my bank is just an absolute mess but hey 69 clues completed thankfully on top of those clue completions i also grabbed 1800 eclectic implings that's like another 70 ish clues let's get through them oh by the way i may as well show i added a sentiston portal to my house i didn't really think of it but there actually is a ton of steps down here like, at the exam center, I know that there's one just north at, like, the crossroads, and it's definitely quicker than using the dig site pendant. Mystery box. We're gonna get the stale baguette, thank you. 500 coins. I am rich. We're gonna get rangers on the way. Boom. Master clue. To the ground it goes. I cannot do that. We're gonna open this clue right next to the black void. Well, that wasn't worth it. Unholy blessing. Probably one of the best blessings in the game. I mean, that's a Zami item. Did we get the casket? Yes. Okay. I was hoping we'd get the casket here because this is the spot that I got the Rangers on the Iron Man. So can we repeat history? No. <laughs> oh my god, what is that? This is the 100th medium clue. We're in a nice scenic location. So maybe, just maybe, we can see him. No, it's just so boring. Hold on. I, I know what's going on. We need to grab my boater. Now all is right in the world. Master clue number three. Is this is this it? Can we finally finish one? No, I certainly cannot finish this. <laughs> Here it is, boys. Thank you. Leprechaun hat. Ooh, that's a tough one. Do we do we use the leprechaun hat or do we use the boater? The council has decided on the boater. Black Boater, have we upgraded? Is it time? Have we upgraded to the Black Boater? Yes, we have. This is the lucky spot. We're going to get the fabled green boots of doom. That's a lot of green, but it's not the right one. Nope. That's what we're talking about. Ancient page four. All right. You know, we're not getting really anything else, but that is our second ancient page. Two out of four. Oh, and a bandos page. Wait, hold on. Yep, that is, that's it. We have the full Bandos book. That is the first book that I finished. Unfortunately, it's trash. Not a good book. Clue number 130. Ooh, ancient page one. That is new. Three out of four. Holy moly. Did I seriously just get 85 Hunter from catching Eclectic Imp? There's no way, man. It just shows how long I've been here, considering I get like 30 XP per Impling. Another long day of implings, and I'm at 1,600. I'm almost tired of seeing these master clues, because <laughs> we know what's going to happen. Why is it not loading? 
All right, thanks, video game. <laughs> Got a trio step, which I am so much more prepared. Look at our tank gear now. I'm not even worried. Ooh, nuclear DDS as usual. It's just unstoppable, man. Like, tell me I'm wrong. This is the strongest DDS in the game. 100%. Deep wilderness and white plate legs. Come on, man. That was step number six. Am I, am I seeing that right? Two Ceridoman pages? Bruh. It took that long, guys. And I knew it. I literally called it. I said the first one was going to be Climbing Boots J. So, 166 mediums for my first type of boot. This is the first boot on the account. That is ridiculous. And it is useless. Uh, this is what they look like. Not bad. Okay, fuck off. No. Get... Uh, no. No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That's your final resting place. No. Goodbye. Unicorn mask. All right. You know what? The, uh, I love the black boater look with this, but it's just, it's not giving me the goods. You know, it's not putting in the work. So we're going to be switching to the new and improved black unicorn mask. I'm loving it already. That collection log kind of spooked me. I thought I got something good, but eh, it's just a miter. Whatever. 200 though. That looks clean. We're two out of three, man. 100 more to go. Oh my, yes. Yes, man. Okay, at least we get something good during this grind. Outside of Rangers, this is the best drop. Plus three prayer bonus in the boot slot, which means that they're, for me, essentially best in slot while bursting and things like that. Eventually, you can upgrade them to uh, like a plus five prayer boot, I believe, and that's really good for like Hydra. So this definitely is really good to have. I'm happy I got them. Oh my God. Today is the day, guys. Yes, the Arbital page four. A finished god book uh, gets an extra stat on top of the uh, five prayer bonus. And the Arbital book is the ranging one. So it gets 10 ranged attack bonus, which is insanely good if I'm using the RCB. So it, it definitely is a big upgrade to the RCB. I know we just unlocked the MSBI, but uh, I will use this. There are going to be situations where I'd rather use the RCB. And it's just great to have. Next thing I want to get, the Ancient Book. So we're, we're still missing one page on that one. 283 clues done. We've made it to the drop rate. Not the happiest moment in my life. Uh, clue number 300. This is our last chance. There's no way, bro. There's just no way. That can't be real. We're gonna we're gonna leave these climbing boots as food for these terror birds. They'll eat anything, bro. Fuck you again. <sighs> That's it. Oh shit. All right. Well, on the way, I was collecting a lot of the other implings. You know, the big pies, ninjas, and dragons. So, I guess we get to open them, have some fun. Let's start off with the dragons, the ones that actually matter. What are we going to get? Um. I kind of don't want to get Dragon Bones for Prayer XP or anything that's worth money. Here we go. First one is Dragon Arrow. Objectively the best drop, but I don't think I'm ever going to get a Tebow, so... It's where they just bank value. Snapdragon Seeds, that's huge. Money. Dragon Darts, alright. Dragon Darts. More Snapdragons. Okay, I forgot they could drop that. That's actually probably the better drop for me. Right now. I don't need glories, but that's cool. Money. More arrows. Money. That's a lot of arrows. Oh my god. <laughs> the worst drop. Summer pies. That's nice. I don't actually have any on the account. I will... That's great, actually. I'll take that. And... Ooh. End with the D-bones. Nice. That's, um... About 25k prayer. Oof. They're all gone. But that was that was a fun opening, actually. That is so much cash from both of these inflings. I don't know exactly how much, but like we're talking like well over a mil in alkables. I need that. Very grateful. Three hundred medium clues completed, and uh, this is what we had to show for it in the log. We got up to sixty-two items. I think that's pretty all right. I'd imagine in terms of the eclectics, that was the loot that we got. Uh, I didn't really save every single item, but I mean. Some of them are good, I guess. The Adamant Ore is great. Gold Ore is nice. Uh, there's a decent amount of Alkables in there. 
But all in all, I mean, you don't really get that much out of this grind outside of the Rangers. So was it fun? Absolutely. I enjoy this grind a ton. It was six days straight doing basically 300 medium clues. So I was averaging almost 50 a day, which is uh, definitely a lot for me. But I'm going to switch my sights. I, I think we're going to take a break from the Rangers. We're going to go and get into Slayer finally. So that'll be the topic of the next few videos. Um, we're probably going to come back to the Ranger grind when I get a maxed house. I think that just makes sense. It would make it so much better and more enjoyable. But if you haven't yet, go check out the live stream over on Twitch. Link is in the description. Come over and say hi. Either way, hope you enjoyed the episode. I will see you in the next one. Have a good day.